Are you team Gabriel or are you team Alfie? Yeah, I'm the team for the and I'm like Amelia, I couldn't choose between both of them, so. You've been a costume designer, yes, but at your core, I read that you're deeply into period costumes and uh, did Emily in Paris then feel like a refreshing opportunity since you were playing so much with contemporary fashion? A big yes on that. Yeah, but I, I like to switch, you know, when I'm doing period, I want to do contemporary and when I'm doing contemporary, I'm... I'm happy to switch and to do period movies. But for Emily in Paris, it's not period. It's not fashion. It's just a universe. It's just something, a creation where we are totally free to create and to build character and to dress them in an interesting way, a different way. And if that makes fashion, it's okay for me. And if not, it's just something I hope interesting, easy to, to watch at. And you've in between done fantasy, you've also done red carpets. What has been your one strength to constantly up-level your skills as a fashion person? I'm, I'm reading a lot of books. I'm watching a lot of runways, a lot of photo exhibition, because you need to feed your imagination. I'm watching runways before preparing a new season. I prefer to go and see different exhibition. And that, you know, gives me sensation, images, and uh, this kind of... I love fabrics also, because I start as a fabric designer. And sometimes it's a fabrics who give me the, the idea of the silhouette. What's the best part and the worst part about dressing up Lily Collins? Best part, it's the work that we succeed to do together, you know, from season one to season four. Now we know each other a lot. It's like playing a symphony. We make a lot of rehearsal and now we are able to play this symphony very easily, very fluently. She's super professional. She knows fashion. She's super open-minded. And we are able to discuss and to make this character growing up. And the worst part, uh, when we stop when it's the last day and when it's the end and we never know if there will be another season. So Tell me about the mix of fashion designers from across the world that you've used for this season. I use, I think, all designers in the world. We use Indian designer as Manish Aurora, Garupt, uh, Rupta. Uh, yeah, uh, I find on Instagram randomly, I find a Vietnamese designer. Uh, the name is Six Doen by uh, Domen Kuong. Uh, I use Korean uh, designer like push buttons, American, French, Italian, Poland, uh, French one also, Spanish, everybody. I think I, I, I don't, I'm not focused on, uh, on nationality. I'm not focused on brand. I just want to fall in love with the pieces. If the pieces tell me a song, tell me the nice story, uh, I fell in love and I take the pieces. What do you think about Indian fashion? I love it. You know, the life color, the like embellishment, uh, that particular. So I, I really fell in love with Manish before I met him, actually. And when I met the, the designer, I fell in love with him. So uh, he's some, some, someone very generous. Uh, he has a beautiful place, beautiful house. And you can believe you are in India when you are in his place uh, in Paris. So And I didn't have the chance to meet uh, Garupt, but I hope at the first fashion week we can meet each other because I really love the, the, the architecture of and the volume of what he's doing and I use a beautiful dress from him a red one and I'm not going to tell you for who but it's a beautiful piece really I think it would be Mindy because I just feel like she'd wear it so beautifully. So I'm going to come back to Mindy. People need to talk more about Mindy's style evolution because, you know, from the streets to becoming this woman and to finding her own voice literally in the show. Um, tell me what has been the thought process behind dressing up Mindy? I'm following a story. So uh, she became, she was a nanny the first season. Of course, I need to grow up with the character and with the story. So it was... Also, because it's a constant dialogue with actors, you know, it's not, I'm not doing my thing alone. I'm doing mood balls. I'm sending ideas and it's a dialogue and we build together those characters. Sometimes maybe I take a wrong direction, but as I'm lucky to have a casting with open mind, they're following me. And if I say I'm wrong, it's not powerful enough. They want to suggest something. And if I think it's, uh, it's valuable, it will be beautiful or I I can do it or buy it. Uh, 
we go. It's a process between us. We are a team now. With every season, with the storyline, the passion of each character is constantly changing. And I, that's the most fascinating part about your work and your contribution to Emily in Paris. It's nice to hear. So because sometimes I don't know if I'm doing right, if people can see an evolution. Oh, at the moment, you, you, you don't know if what you're doing it's well, will be well received. You don't know. You are just delivering, making, styling, shopping, fitting. So uh, you don't think about the release, the launching. You just want to make it much more beautiful and perfect and interesting. So that is your challenge every day. Yeah, I feel like the clothes are a character on their own. Do you see a little bit of your style in Emily? And do you think fashion has to be a lot more sophisticated, a lot more toned down? You are free to be your own designer. Wear a glitter at 9 a.m. in the morning. Wear shocking pink if you are living in Paris and if everybody in the metro at 8 o'clock in the morning are dressed in black with true I promise you. So it's just a, a liberating message, I hope, to say to people, be your own designer. Life is too short to, to wear boring clothes. So have fun with fashion. Fashion, it's not serious. Fashion, it's, it's wearing, it's about wearing beautiful clothes, things who fit your body. So don't follow trends, but follow something for make you look beautiful making and look confident a woman is never as beautiful when she's confident in what she's wearing so uh, just free yourself from what is fashion in out just if you like it and if it's ugly for 100 people you like it so do it